Rob Dew just got back from Chicago right now. Five days in Chicago, we saw a little MSNBC article about troops for five days of terror drill. And we noticed in the actual press releases put out by the Army that the Army was going to be training with local police in neighborhoods to, quote, take on American drug dealers and gun owners. Rob Dew just walked in, just got off the plane. He walked in here totally white-faced, you know, like a ghost, and said, we have it. And I said, you have what? It'll be on tomorrow to tell us about it. But while everybody's looking at the oil spill, which is important, I'm looking at Iran. I'm looking at military drills in Chicago. Tell folks what you witnessed, dude. Well, apparently since the mid-'90s, um, the National Guard in Illinois has been working with Poland uh, as like a sister-type program. So they had Polish troops there training with the American troops, and we actually witnessed and videotaped a terror drill where they had Boy Scouts as the victims, and the Polish troops were dressed up as commandos. They they said they were only going to be observing, but th they were actually participating in this event. And uh, and then we even have later on camera one of the uh, city of Chicago terror officials, um, our uh, emergency management official, said they're they're just there observing. They're just there to observe. And of course, in Police State for the Rise of FEMA that you co-directed with me and, and, and Douglas, we had the colonel, we interviewed the colonel, who admitted the Army was training for gun confiscation in Iowa, and I've been to the drills a decade ago where they were training to take on American gun owners. Folks, the military is training. It was in NLE 09. Fourteen nations. Fourteen teen nations to take on american gun owners i saw it with my own eyes and we have um, like we have hours of video of this of, of the guys working together and doing these drills and i need you I, I know you're working on going through all the chemtrail videos the hundreds we've been sent that are incredible from all over the world but i need you to race and just get that stuff so in the next few days i can maybe on saturday i know you haven't seen your family or i guess we can wait we just don't have the personnel that's why your financial support is so important if i had the money i'd have a few more editors a few more camera guys we're limited folks like people are hopping mad some of them are they want us to go to the gulf yeah, uh, that's what I. That's what but I, I don't have the people. I know. I mean, am I supposed to give orders to armies that don't exist? It's like I'm Hitler or something in my bunker giving orders to armies that only exist on maps. I mean, uh, I mean, it, it, it's not going on here. I mean, it's pretty crazy. And another thing that happened, we were I was filming at the Sears Tower, and they're doing road work underneath. There's these road systems that go underneath the main roads, the the street level roads. And they were all closed off. I said, well, that's interesting. I'm going to go down there and start filming that. And I'm shooting, and all of a sudden a guy in a suit appears and said, sir, sir, what are you doing down here? I said, I'm just, you know, shooting video. He goes, no, you can't be down here. You can't be down here. I said, what are you all doing down here? He goes, oh, it's all road work construction, but it's all underneath, you know, where the Sierra, it's now called the Willis Tower. And uh, that's another little bit that, that was just a little side thing that happened. Oh, it's total mafia takeover. Listen. Get the guys to set you up for at least 30 minutes on the show tomorrow, all right? All right. Good job. I'll see you. All right.